द नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट इज द थ्री पावरफुल एनिमीज सो दिस इज इन कंटिन्यूशन टू नेचर इन दैशन इन एज अ वोटरी ऑफ द लोटस सूत्रा इन द पास वीडियो वी टॉक्ड अबाउट वाई नेचर इन दैशन इन क्वालिफाइड टू बी अ वोटरी ऑफ द लोटस सूत्रा बिकॉज एज अ नेचर इन दैशन इन फेस ऑल द परसिक्यूशन एंड ऑपोजिशन विच वॉज मैंडेटेड एंड टॉक्ड अबाउट इन लोटस सूत्रा लोटस सूत्रा ऑल्सो टॉक्ड अबाउट थ्री पावरफुल एनिमीज and this is something which nature in dashan in faced right so let's understand what exactly the three powerful enemies what exactly nature in dashan in faced and if we are practicing like nature in dashan in if we are propagating in the letter day of the law ultimately we can also expect that this kind of enemies will come after us when we become big when our faith become stronger and ultimately we can also expect to uh you know this kind of enemies coming after us so what are these three powerful enemies now this is the concept which was taught in the 13th chapter of lotus sutra in encouraging devotion quick question we know how many chapters are there in lotus sutra 28 what part of the lotus sutra is called theoretical teaching first to 14 chapter what part of lotus sutra is called essential teaching 615 to 28 chapter right the most important chapter for us by the way which we also recite in morning and evening as part of gonge var second and 16 chapter second chapter is expedient mean 16 chapter is life span chapter apart from this there are multiple chapters and every chapter has its own significance one of the chapter talks about bodhi sattva never dis- disparaging bodhi sattva of the earth and uh, similarly this chapter uh, encouraging devotion talks about the concept of three powerful enemies right it when we understand this concept we will be able to understand if we are practicing right then what kind of challenges what kind of enemies would come in my you know my life or you know the the followers you know lifetime as well right so what exactly power three powerful enemies are so first of the three powerful enemies are arrogant lay people normal you know day to day life people people who are <coughs> arrogant who says that i know everything and they are getting influence they don't understand the fundamental of you know and just because they are easy to manipulate they are easy to be influenced um and they are attached to their lesser teachings uh, they don't want to know you they don't want to understand what you are saying maybe they will say ki yaar tu baat to sahi keh raha hai but bhai i am following this i'll continue to follow this by the way don't talk to me in fact uh, your teaching is not supreme so whatever the reason uh, one of the three enemies is arrogant lay people they are the people who will slander who will attack practitioners out of two reason they will attack you because either they are ignorant or they are jealous jealous right they don't know the supreme teaching they are attached to the lesser teaching then they are not able to accept the profoundness of the lotus sutra right sometimes what happen people like if you say ki hey only this kind of people can do the practice not everyone can do right this is something people say i am part of exclusive club and when you open the club for everyone not everyone would be happy about it right for whatever reason right so whatever the reason these are the arrogant lay people who are attached to the lesser teaching they are not able to understand the profoundness sometimes they are disillusioned sometimes they are not aware they are ignored ignorance or they are also jealous and because of these two things they will oppose you they will oppose you based on the misconception they have a biasness and they have personal grievances right for example it may happen that you you are jealous of one of your colleague and that uh, because maybe the person is successful person gets sort of attention and that person comes and tell you hey you know i am practicing this why won't you practice you will not practice because you are jealous of that person you will you it will become very difficult for you to understand the concept the profoundness of it because of the jealousy because of personal grievances 
maybe you are biased towards a particular teaching lesser teaching because of that you are not able to accept or you don't want to accept it right so this is one of the three powerful enemies one of the three powerful enemies is arrogant lay people now the second type of three powerful enemies is arrogant priest people who are monk people who are learned people who are actually have lot of wisdom in terms of and people who have a capability right uh, to understand the profoundness of lotus sutra right but even after these these people these priests or monks will not practice lotus sutra why because it will be a threat to their authority or influence because for a longer period of time they are preaching a certain sect of teaching they are already well versed with their teaching they have a lot of followers now if they go and start accepting your teaching ultimately it will result in the a loss of authority loss of influence and loss of credibility in the market right and for those reason though these people know unlike arrogant lay people many times they are influenced they are ignorant and they are misconception these are the people who have the capability to understand the depthness of lotus sutra the profoundity profoundity of lotus sutra but these people will not will uh, you know even after that will not practice lotus sutra or accept lotus sutra because it will be a threat to their authority and influence and because they are learned people they have lot of wisdom they have lot of influence they will um, you know they will criticize or even persecute practitioners so that they can continue to maintain their position and prestige right they are so attached to their status and they will interpret you coming and teaching them as a challenge to their authority and influence that's the reason these people will not practice and they have lot of influence so they will not just practice they will not just ridicule you uh, but they can also persecute you as well so as you move from arrogant lay people to arrogant priest we understand the difference between the two and the um, also the gravity of the you know um, the persecution you can face from arrogant lay people to arrogant priest now the third type of enemies and the most powerful enemy is arrogant false sages now what are these kind of a people they are the people who are in a very high position right people who have authority who can actually um, who are seen in the market who are seen in the overall industry who are seen in the overall world as people who are wise people who are virtuous right P individuals who by by you know uh, they have gone in the rank you know they have risen uh, through the ranks and through that they have been uh, they have got lot of influence in the authority right and these are the people who will be called arrogant false sages don't get confused with arrogant monks or priests arrogant priests or monks are people who have a limited influence maybe people who are following them and because of those following they are able to you know do some persecution to you however when we talk about arrogant false sages not just the followers for these people but overall in the society they are seen as someone who is of high stature who are seen as respected wise and virtuous people right and they are the people who have a direct link with the government people who have a direct link with the authorities and um, they will use their status to attack the lotus sutra and its practitioners right now the bigger difference between the arrogant priests and arrogant false sages is that while arrogant priests will come on your face and say ki hey bro i don't like what you are doing i don't think this is right don't come to me don't talk to my followers don't do that but arrogant false sages will have a deceptive face right 
दे विल नॉट कम इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड से कि हे यू आर डूइंग रॉन्ग दे मे कम एंड से हे आई रिस्पेक्ट यू यार यू आर डूइंग गुड आई थिंक दिस इज वर्थ इट आई थिंक दिस इज राइट या 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 आई अंडरस्टैंड या दिस इज गुड दिस काइंड ऑफ अ बिहेवियर दे विल शो इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू यू मे सीम दैट दे आर द वन हु आर रिसेप्टिव दे आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड दे हाउ एवर बिहाइंड द सीन दे विल कन्वांस विद अथॉरिटीज to persecute you they are the people who will behind the scene will work against you to you know persecute you and the lotus sutra right this is what is written here they are deceptive due to their apparent spiritual authority which misleads others they often use their position to criticize or undermine the teaching of the lotus sutra and sway others against the practitioner right so these are the three kind of enemies which has been taught in lotus sutra what are the three enemies arrogant lay people arrogant priest and arrogant false sages arrogant lay people are normal people who will come after you who can throw stones at you arrogant priest are one who can mobilize the crowd and uh, uh, you know they can they can definitely persecute you but the most dangerous is arrogant false sages because they are the people who have direct connect in the authority in the government they can not just persecute you they can get you killed as well so that is what is talked talked about in the lotus sutra now if we look at the life of nichirin daishonin nichirin daishonin faced all the three types of arrogant false you know uh, three powerful enemies arrogant lay people we already know that many people the followers of other shrine and you know normal people also attacked and slandered him there was actually a one one uh, uh one persecution where he was attacked by the lay people right arrogant priests we already know the people from other sect were after him they opposed him and persecuted him and uh, even in the face of those arrogant lay people and arrogant priests he was the one who cling to uh, you know the lotus sutra and nichirin daishonin also faced challenges from arrogant false sages right for example the priest ryokan he was the one who was highly respected irrespective of uh, you are following whichever sect priest ryokan was like a universal figure no matter somebody is following true school somebody is following zen school everyone used to respect priest ryokan he is the one who was a direct line with the authority uh, you know the government of that time that was a person who was highly respected but he was the one who was who is behind the scene who was actually behind the scene to get him killed as well right so in that sense nichirin daishonin fulfilled all the three uh you know a uh, tick box which was in the lotus sutra if you follow lotus sutra correctly and try to teach in the letter of the law you will face three powerful enemies and nichirin daishonin actually faced all the three powerful enemies right here is a brief snapshot of it so what are the arrogant people lay people arrogant lay people are the one who are individuals who will pers- uh, slander or attack you arrogant priests are the one who have a status and they will because they see that it will be a threat to the, their authority and influence they will attack you arrogant false sages are the individuals again unlike priests arrogant uh, false sages are individuals who seem to be appear wise and virtuous have a high influence but they will actually use their influence to attack you right so these are the characteristics of them and nichirin faced all of it nichirin faced uh enemy from in the terms of arrogant lay people he faced challenges and persecution from arrogant priests and he also faced challenges from arrogant false sages of prince ryokan of gokurai kuchej temple who was respected as a saint but ultimately he is the one we know that who actually plotted to get nichirin daishonin beheaded in tasunu kochi persecution so this is a concept of three powerful enemies right and nichirin daishonin fulfilled all the three criteria and that's why he declared himself as votary of the lotus sutra and in one of the gosha he read he he writes there can be no room to doubt that i nichirin am the foremost votary of the lotus sutra in all of japan 
in another gosho nichin dashan writes i nichin and the foremost votary of the lotus sutra in the entire land of jambu dwipa so this is a concept of three powerful enemies lotus sutra talks about the challenges and persecution you will face in the later day of the law if you start practicing law, you know and preaching lotus sutra nichin dashan is at the forefront of it he was the one after shakyamuni buddha who actually faced challenges because of uh, lotus sutra and not just that he also start he also fulfilled the criteria other criteria in terms of three powerful enemies opposition and persecution and he also recognizes himself as a buddhist sattva superior practices we will talk about it later so go ahead look at nichirinjpri.com uh, where as of now i have put all the quiz summaries and the videos will also come up there for uh, the the exam not just that in the coming days i am going to introduce a very powerful ai chatbot with the help of which you can understand any gosho if you want to understand you can create summary of it you can get the quotation of whatever you know challenges you are facing if you want to encourage someone you know that you are going to meet with someone who has such a typical type of challenges then how to, should you encourage that person that all guidance will come from that particular chatbot you will also get um, if you want to understand any of the buddhist concept you can just interact with that particular chatbot and get all your answer so that you can deepen your faith and really make sure that you practice in the right way and reap multiple benefit just like i have done over the period of time so thank you so much and we will move to the next topic thank you